Whoa, 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 whoa. Alien, I know you're from another planet, dude, but just back up a little bit. The people are waiting for an opening. What is going on, guys? My name is Pokerev, and welcome to the Poker Cave. With me, I have the one and only Alien himself. He's back in the Poker Cave to bring us some luck, and we are live tonight. We're going to be opening up something pretty crazy. This is a first for the Poker Cave, and it is going to be. Dun dun dun. An Aquapolis E-Series booster box released in the year 2003. The first ever, first ever crystal cards to ever be released. And they decided to throw in Lugia as one of the main, probably, definitely, the biggest crystal card that you can get out of here. Along with Nidio King and Kingdra. I'm going to show you guys the size of this box. Sweet Coon. Scizor, Umbreon, guys, this set is insane. It's huge. There are so many hollows in here. There's over 32 hollows, three crystals, and the entire set comes in reverse form. Oh, this is amazing. I'm so pumped for this. Guys, if you are excited for this, smash the like button. Get ready. Sit down, relax, have some popcorn, hang out with some of your best friends here. We got the luck tonight, but I'm pulling out the blade for this one. And here we go. We're going to cut right down the side. Oh, there it is, guys. 2003, the introduction of Crystal Pokemon. The E-Series set. We've never opened up an E-Series set in the Poke Cave because they're so hard to find. This is for sure one of the most difficult booster boxes to find. That is out there. One of the last ones that was ever made by Wizards of the Coast. The second to last one, I might add. But there it is. The wrap is off. And it is time to crack into a booster box from the year 2003. One of the most sought after sets of all time. Oh, and I completely forgot. You get a box topper. And it just so happens that we got the Espeon box topper out of here. Oh, this thing is sick. So if you guys don't know, box toppers came on all the E-Series sets. This is one of them that you could get Espeon. That is an awesome card. I'm going to put that to the side. I don't even have a sleeve for the card this big. This thing is huge. I'm going to put it over here for later. But now, guys, I'm going to show you all of the artworks. We got the Entei. We got Tyranitar. Scizor. And, of course, Arcanine. Guys, hashtag your favorite out of these four. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Tyranitar. That's going to be my favorite. Let me know, guys, which one of these is your favorite pack artwork. But now, guys, we are going to mix these all up like we always do in the Poke Cave. We mix all the luck up. We get all the sauce out. We mix it up in a nice pot. We put it on medium heat. We let it simmer a little bit. We let it get mixed up nice. And we let that luck get mixed up for everybody. Because we're opening all these packs, if you guys don't know. If you weren't aware, every single one of these packs is going to get open. I do not know the last time anybody has opened up an entire booster box of Aquapolis Pokemon cards on YouTube. But it's happening right now in the Poke Cave because of all of you guys here and all of the support. So, another quick shuffle up and we're going to get ready to rock and roll. Guys, putting in all your uh, favorites. We got Tyranitar, we got Entei, Scizor. Arcanine, it seems like it's pretty, it's honestly pretty even. It's looking pretty even, guys. So, this is it. Packs are going in. 36 packs. Guys, I can't tell you how pumped I am for this. TCG Revival helped out a ton getting all the pricing data and information for this. Um, and everybody is ready to rock and roll here. Everyone's excited for this one because this is a big one. This is huge. This is huge. Tom says, would you ever buy a pack out of your own box. I would love to, but I would never want to take away from any of you guys getting hits out of here. So, I sit back, I relax, and I enjoy having all of you guys get all of the awesome hits out of here. But maybe one day. Maybe one day. But alright guys, let's rock and roll, let's get it! So, first up, if you guys are going to believe this, first up is Nick M, the fastest hands in the West, the fastest internet in the world. Somehow Nick, I don't know how he does it. But he gets in on these openings so quickly. And Nick's going in with the first pack out of this box. 
Guys, again, I can't, did I mention how excited I am, Alien? Okay. You know, he's a man of a few words. But here it is. Scizor is coming out of the first, first, first pack here. The Pokemon E Aquapolis set is the scene for the big time battles with 186 cards. Guys, there's 186 cards, but you have to almost double that to 361 because most of these come in reverse. It's a huge set. The largest set ever. Okay, well, there you go. The largest set ever. When, when, when this was released, only the best Pokemon Master Trainers will conquer the mysterious coastal city. Let's do this, guys. Let's make some more history right here in the Poke Cave tonight. Oh, my goodness. This is insane. Guys, this Cubone. I already want to look at the Cubone artwork, but I must hold back. Because I have to do the card trick. Now it's only gonna be two from the back. My hands are actually shaking right now, so I gotta I gotta pull it together here. Okay. <sighs> okay. Gotta pull it together for this one, guys. We got a metal cube to start it off. Magnemite. <sighs> wow. This artwork. Oh, look at that Cubone. Sunrise or sunset. Juggling. I know TCG Revival loves Cubone, so this one's to you, buddy. Smeargle. Okay, my hands are actually shaking pretty badly now, so I gotta, I really gotta like, <laughs> gotta do something. We got a pincer, an onyx, and the artworks. Like, a lot of people say the E series has the best artworks in Pokemon and especially Wizard of the Coast era. I mean, they really locked it in on these. Every single artwork is like a masterpiece in this set. Here we go. We're coming up on the first reverse. It is a time shard. Trainer reverse. Nothing too, too crazy. But we're coming up on that last card. Can we get our first hit? Our first hollow? Our first crystal. Oh, Porygon 2. Non-hollow. But I, I still cannot get over the artworks. And guys, the other thing is, if you didn't notice, there's strips and data strips on the side here. That was so you could swipe these cards. You could actually swipe these cards back in the day. On your Game Boy Advance and add it into your game. I mean, it was really awesome. I'm going to put this reverse in the sleeve because even the reverses, some of the reverses can go for like $300 or even more depending on which one it is. So, and I'm even going to card saver these ones as well, guys. Normally, I don't even throw reverses in, but some of these reverses are so valuable that we're doing it. And the other thing I forgot to mention is that... The quality on the E-Series sets. My hands are still shaking like crazy. But the quality on these cards is amazing. The print quality is when they really, really dialed it in. But okay, guys. First pack down. We still have 35 to go. That's right. 3-5. If you're just getting here, we are just getting started. We almost have 1,000 people here live in the Poke Cave tonight. Thank you so much to everybody that's hanging out here. Uh, we got Joker Game Gaming. We got Adrian, Justin, John, Pokemon. Um, Drock, we got MN, we got, oh my god, it's Nemo! <laughs> Nemo's in the house! We finally found you! Dude, we've been looking for you for like, how long has it been, like 15 years? I don't know how long it's been, but we've been looking for you for a long time. Alright, guys, we're going on to the second person up, it's gonna be Jeffrey R. Also with one pack, and one pack only. Jeffrey, best of luck to you. Let's get our second pack of the night opened up. And I have no idea if or when we can ever do this again because, I mean, this is a first. It took us probably about six months to get to this point to be able to open this setup. And even the trainer card. This one in particular, Pokemon Park, is amazing. I love it. Three starters on there. Chikorita, Cyndaquil, and Pikachu. There's a Golduck climbing up some rocks. Like, just, I don't know I don't know what he's up to. Lickitung, Jinchou, Water type. We got Bellsprout. Actually, two Bellsprouts are in the house. Togepi, skipping down a lane. I love the artwork. I love the colors. Oh, I love this set. Scyther, we're only going to be coming up on our reverse. It's a warp energy. So, guys, some of these trainer cards in PSA 10 and reverse um, are worth a good amount. Like, the rainbow energy and crystal energy are about 150 to 200 I don't know the exact price on these because to price out 361 cards, it would just have been impossible. But let's see if we can get our first big hit of the night. 
Ooh, a darkness energy non-hollow out of that pack. So we did get the reverse warp energy. And again, I'm throwing this into a card saver because even the reverses, even the trainers. I mean, you guys could pull up the pop report right now on this. On a lot of these, they just don't exist. You just can't find them. So that one's going in. That one's going in, guys, for Jeffrey R. We're going to move on to the third person up. It is Mike D. So welcome, welcome to Mike D. You have one pack as well. We got a lot of one packers. Let's see if we can get our first hit of the night. Arcanine to start this one off, guys. All right. Let's do the two from the back. Normally with Wizard of the Coast era, most of the time it is three. But you got to remember, there's reverses in here. Fire cube. Let's get it heated up in here. Alien, come on, man. Sprinkle the luck in. Guys, throw this Zoss in the chat. Let's go. Let's do it. Rhyme Style's in the house. Rev, you'll get a hollow first and then reverse and then the regular wear if a hollow is in the pack. It'll be before the verse. Whoa, my mind is blown. I did not realize that. I feel like I knew that and I forgot it. Mareep. So, you'll get a hollow first and then the reverse and then the regular rare. Ooh. Okay, so that means I probably did the pack trick wrong and I can't do it then. I just got to go through it how we've been doing it. Drowsy. Slowpoke. So, if we have a hollow... Let me check the rarities here. Reverse Smeargle. Not bad. We got a Reverse Smeargle. And then... A Togetic non-holo. And the artwork is actually... For a Togetic, I think this might be one of the coolest ones I've seen in a while. Even that Slowpoke sleeping? Really awesome stuff. So, our third back in. We have a Reverse Smeargle. We haven't hit a holo or a Crystal yet. We're going to see if we could change that on our fourth pack. Smeargle... Going in. And thank you so much, Mike D, for participating in this opening. I'm going to throw your cards in here, like so. And we're going to move on to the next pack. Alien. Here, I'm going to get Alien to make this one lucky for you guys. It is going to be Thong Y coming up next. Back at it. Also with one pack. So, it's another Arcanine. All right. Alien. Please, my friend. Sprinkle it. Sprinkle the luck on it. Okay. Thank you. Arcanine pack coming up. We got Brendan with the super chat. I would like to invest in a booster box. Which would you recommend? I was thinking of evolutions, but want to hear your opinion. Looking to spend $100 to $200. $100 to $200. I think evolutions is probably going to be one of your best bets in that price range. I believe they're around $125. So check that out. Make sure you come back on Saturday mornings. If you guys want to talk all things Q&As here, we'll go very in-depth. So make sure you shoot that question over and i can go on for a long time on the q a's but we got a fur it to start this one off energy switch we got an execute centrit mill tank oh i don't know what it is about these but I, I, the artworks they're just so nice like i just can't even explain how i'm feeling about a lot of these but like even that paris is actually kind of confusing i don't know what what's going on with that paris hound door all right. Ooh, Dodrio. So that one is an uncommon. A nice hit for a reverse. And we got a pseudo Wudo. Make that multiple pseudo Wudos. There's like three in that shot running full speed. Yeah, it's actually a really sick artwork. Pseudo Wudo. Still haven't hit our first holly yet, but that only means the rest of this box is looking even hotter as we keep moving along in here. The further we get into this without getting a hit, just means. The rest of it is going to be pretty much, pretty much going to be a lot, a lot of hits coming through. So, Thong, thank you so much for participating again. That was the fourth pack in. We're still waiting for that first big hit. Let's get it right now. Come on, guys. Throw it in the chat. Throw the aliens in there. Throw in um, the Zoss. Throw everything in. And I apologize if I'm missing some of your guys' super chats here. Um, the, we got Burnmander in the house. Hashtag Hoodie Rev. Let's heat it up in here, though. And we got Kevin Smith. Love your openings, man. Praying for some great pulls. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate everybody being here. Let's get the luck going. Throw it in the chat. We got Michael M. Coming up next. Can Michael M. change this? Guys, right now I want you to guess. Because Michael M. has two packs. Which is a lot for this era. For this type of opening. Two packs. I want to know how many hollow hits you think we're going to get out of here. Crystals count. Give me a zero, one, or two in the chat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go call this crazy, but I'm gonna go for two right now. I'm gonna go for two. It's been a little bit dry, 
But I think we're going to change this up right now for Michael M. Best of luck to you. We got the Arcanine, Ar I'm sorry, the Entei artwork and the Tyranitar. The Mime is getting ready to troll us, though. I see him. I see him waiting. All right. Come on. Let's go. Super Energy Removal 2. We got the Mr. Mime hanging out in the city. Execute. There's a bunch of different executes. There's Mareep, a Chansey. Yo, you are right. So the Hollow just appears out of nowhere. We got a Hollow Nine Tails. That is our first Hollow of the night. Finally, Alien, you're showing some love to us. But that is not all. It's not over yet because there's also going to be a reverse back here. And don't forget, guys, all these cards come in reverse. I mean, Tyranitar, you can get some big reverse hits. Let's see if we get a double whammy. Mm, the Hypno. That is actually one of my favorite Hypno artworks of all time. If you guys check it out, he's actually looking in the window and he's doing Dream Eater, I believe, on um, if that's a person sitting there or something. Yeah, with their head down. He's using like Dream Eater. I love that artwork. And you are right, Rob Style. And then there's the rare behind there, the Parasect Non Hollow Rare. That is awesome. That are that's some two good hits there. So the reverse hypno going in and the hollow nine tails. Let's throw that one in a sleeve as well. Guys, we have some pricing data if you are interested, because there's a lot of hollows in here, but the nine tails in a PSA 10, if I could find it, it's going for almost 400 bucks and the quality on the E-Series is actually always really good. There's a tiny, tiny little speck down there. But E-Series, again, guys, check this out. Let's see how we're looking. I think we are looking really good. I don't see a single scratch on this. It's got the E-Series barcodes on the side and the bottom. 2002 Pokemon slash Nintendo. But we got one more pack. We got one more pack, guys. And that is, again, for Michael. So can we get the double whammy? Can we do it? Can we get another hollow? All right. So, going in like so. Back there for luck? Okay. Stay there. Don't fall. Tyranitar pack artwork. Then it says 1,270 people watching, but only 239 likes. Can we get some likes for our guy, Pokerev? Thank you so much. I appreciate that. If you guys wouldn't mind, it definitely helps the channel out. And it only takes a second. Two from the back. I'm trying to think if there's any way to better way to do the card trick, but my brain can't function properly. Okay, we got a juggler. Whoop, whoop. We got a double whooper in the house. They're sitting on an umbrella having a good time in a pond. We got a spinner rack. I feel like all the Pokemon here are just so happy just hanging out. Except for this dude. I totally just jinxed that. Look at that shoulder. It's like, get off of me. Drowsy. Coming up on the reverse. We got a Don fan. So that means that there's not going to be a hollow back here unless... So I don't know how the crystals are put in here, though. If they are put in the same way, let me know, guys. Where can we expect one behind here? Ooh, it is the Vile Plume, not hollow. So, but Don fan is another really good hit and another amazing artwork. Just like barrel rolling through a town, like jumbo form. That is a nice artwork. I'm going to throw that one in a card saver as well. Going in. Voila. Two really nice reverse artworks there. And a hollow nine tails hit. That is awesome. So we're finally getting a first, first hit here out of this box. But there should be plenty to go. I'm hoping. I'm praying to Arceus Almighty himself. I know he's here. I'm praying to Arceus Almighty himself. That we're going to get that Crystal Lugia, which is coming in at almost $6,000 in a PSA 10. Last one sold for $5,600 on PWCC auctions. You guys watch that go down here. We watch that live. So, let's keep moving along. Next, we have Adam T with one pack. We're going back to the one packs. The Entei artwork is coming up. Who guessed one on those last two packs that we had for Michael M? Let me know in the chat. All right. We still... Should have a lot more hollows and crystals to go. I don't know if crystals are guaranteed out of here. Um, but I know there should be at least 12 hollows in here. Undersea Ruins. We got Fire Cube, Zero One, Mareep. There is a Sneasel, a Slowpoke sleeping, Drowsy sleeping, Hitmontop spinning, Magnemite Reverse. So, let's see what we got last. 
It is an Executor non-hollow. All right. We're slacking on the hollow the hollows here, and I think it's really because Alien's just sitting back there not doing anything. So, Alien, come on, man. We're ready to get some big hits. Only one hollow hit so far out of, I believe it's been almost, it's been probably about seven packs. Four, five, six, seven packs. We're overdue, guys. Should be about one in three. So odds are that we should really start getting some big hits coming out of here. All right. So, Adam T, thank you so much for participating. And really quickly, guys, if you don't know about the Pokedeek Challenge, I don't know what you're doing with yourselves. Guys, Pokedeek Challenge, make sure you check out Pokedeek because I got my... Second trade in, third item from when I started, and it is dun 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 dun. PSA 9 first edition Dragonite from Fossil Set. Traded this up to Jeff the Ref. Jeff the Ref traded to me. Yeah. So if you guys are interested in this Dragonite first edition PSA 9 card, shoot me an email. Let's see if we can get a trade in. We're trying to up the value and the rest of this. Uh, all the items will be auctioned off to a charity of our choice. And yeah, we still got a little bit of time left. But yeah, hit me up if you guys are interested in that. But besides that, we're going to move on to the next person. Is that? No. Okay, never mind. I got confused. I forgot to put the page down. I thought somebody else was back in again. We have Andrew L. up next. Going in with the Entei artwork. And really quickly, we got Shining Bob Quaza. Thank you so much. A gift card for the community. You choose the question. Ooh, putting me on the question spot. I know what it is. The question we're going to ask for this giveaway, and thank you so much, Shining Bob Quaza, is what is your favorite crystal Pokemon card of all time? You can include Skyridge as well. Shoot that in the comment section after this video is uploaded, after the live is over. And huge thanks to Shining Bob Quaza. And I announced the giveaway winners from last Fossils opening. You can find that on my Instagram story. Go ahead and shoot me a follow over there or just check out the page and you can see if you're one of the winners. Um, I, of course, forgot to write it down, so I don't know off the top of my head. <laughs> but those gift cards were courtesy of, again, Shining Bob Quaza and Jeff the Ref. We got a Nidorino to start this pack off for Andrew L. The Mr. Mime. We're on, I'm going to start keeping track of the Mr. Mimes here because they're... they're Mr. Mime's a little bit... Mm, or, yeah, he's just a little... Oh, okay, hold on. But the Psyduck is sick. I'm telling you guys, like, 75% of the Pokemon in this um, set just look like they're having the time of their life. We got an Eevee. An Oddish. Oh, there it is. Our second hollow hit of the night. We got a Steelix. Fist bump? Okay. Steelix hollow hit. And it ain't over yet. Because I want to look at this one really badly up close, but... Well, maybe I can a little bit. Okay, but we got to see what's behind here. What's behind door number two? Oh, it's actually the rainbow energy, and we wrote that down at being a card that's actually valuable. About $200 in a PSA 10, and finish it off with the electrode. Um, I think I asked you guys a little bit earlier, what spot is the crystal card in? Is it in the spot where the hollows are coming up, or are they going to put it behind... The reverse. Let me know if you are in the chat and if you do know the answer to that. The E series kind of puts stuff in really weird spots, so that's going in like so. We got the Steelix. Let's check the back out on this puppy. Whew, flawless. This is what it's all about. The E series, guys. I don't see a thing. I do not see a thing on here. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull this out so. Whew, these are beautiful. I mean, that should be an easy 10, in my opinion. Should be an easy 10. Like the, the card couldn't be any more perfect. It really couldn't. So, Steelix. And I forgot to mention. Did you guys see Pokedeek's video? The last video he put up. His Blastoise first edition base set card came back from PSA. I don't want to give any spoilers out. But how do I say this without spoiling it? Just go watch it. But it was insane. It was insane to see that card come back. That was from the first edition base opening. So we got a Steelix hollow hit and a reverse rainbow energy. The Steelix, if you guys are curious, I know a lot of you guys like to know what the values are on some of these cards, but the Steelix, if I can find it, is worth about $500 in a PSA 10. Woo, okay. So only two hollows in so far. We should have a lot more to go. There's already 1,500 people almost in this live opening. So welcome, welcome. I'm curious. If you are new here, 
Give me a hashtag new in the live chat. And if you guys don't know how to do that, basically, this is live right now. Hello, I'm live. <laughs> Mr. Mime, huh? Okay, so, guys, if, if, if you are new here, go to the live chat. You can find that on the side or something like that. Click the live button, the chat thing. Put hashtag new in the chat. And I will read off and see how many new people we have here. I'm very curious. If you're old, if you're an OG, if you're an old, an OG um, Poke Cave lurker, or I don't, I still have a name for you guys, a Poke Caver. Put hashtag old in chat. All right. Next up, we got Warner G. Warner G also has one pack. And don't forget, guys, we only have two hollows hit so far. That's it. Two. Nine Tails and Steelix. There should still be a lot more to go. All right. Whoa, we got a lot of new people in the house. We got some prehistoric people in the house as well. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. So if you are new here, really quickly, I'm going to tell you guys, my name is PokerRev. This is the Poker Cave. We do live vintage booster box openings every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Most of the time, they're vintage boxes. So we get some crazy stuff in here. But let's get going. And Saturdays are live Q&As where you can ask all of your questions related to Pokemon cards. Just come hang out here in the Poke Cave. We're pretty much live a lot a lot of times here in the Poke Cave. So you can always come hang out here. And everybody is always welcome. As we always say, the Poke Positivity. And of course, Alien is always here. If you guys don't know Alien, he's been around for a long time. And he brings the luck. Kangaskhan. I like that. Looking out over the horizon. I wonder what they're thinking about. Let me know, guys, in the chat. What do you think they're thinking about? Thinking about a hollow? Okay, a Voltorb. A Voltorb. A reverse lightning cube 01. There's a decent amount of trainers in here. And a nine tails. This one's coming in as the non hollow. So the last card is a rare. And this one's going into a card saver. Again, this one's from Warner G. So thank you so much, Warner, for participating. As always, I appreciate it. That is going in, like so, and we're going to move on to the next pack. So, I'd say we're about nine packs in, maybe ten or, or so right now. We're not even halfway there. We're actually not even close to being halfway yet. All right, I got a hashtag rehydrating here. <laughs> Ryan's thinking about the Madoo. Correction, Kangaskhan is thinking about the Madoo. Arceus says they're thinking about the Lugia. <laughs> the Bidoof and the Lugia, they're just thinking about it. Just standing there looking at the horizon like, ah, Bidoof, where are you right now? All right. Bidoof is also good luck as well, if you guys don't know, in the Poke Cave. So, we have Cruz G is up next. Cruz is back at it with the Arcanine artwork. And guys, this is like for real, for real. There should be a lot more hits to go in here. Like a lot more. If I can get this pack open. These ones are a little bit weird to open up as well. So this one, this pack in particular is actually really tricky. So maybe they're trying to hold back the flames that are inside. I actually have to do it this way. Very carefully. There we go. All right. So we're going to go two from the back. One, two. Let's see if we can get our third hollow hit of the night. Grass Cube 01. Memory Berry. We got a Hitmonchan. I think there's something in here. I don't want to jinx it, but I think there's something in here. A Mankey with the rainbow in the background. The Chincho. Oh, I was right. It's an Ariados hollow hit. Let's go. Wow. The green really, really makes this card pop. Oh, this is awesome. Okay. Now... The next card could be a big one. It could be even bigger. That's the thing with this. Okay, Skip Loom. Not bad. We got a Pokemon. And then to end it off, we got an Espeon. Is that a that is a rare? Okay, so the last card I believe is always a rare. So even the rare non hollows are, are worth it. And of course, all the non hollows in this set would absolutely be worth grading. So I'm gonna throw that in there. I'm gonna throw the Aridos as well. And this is one. Of the 32 hollows that you can get out of here. There's 32 plus the three crystals. I'm going to throw these in a card saver as well. I'm going to catch up on the chat really quickly, guys. And I always go through and read stuff. If I missed anything, I apologize. 
But I appreciate you all being here. I appreciate you coming here and hanging out, relaxing, networking, making friends, keeping everything pokey positive in the poke cave. Skip Bloom going in. All right, guys, come on. We got it. Hollow hit and the reverse. And the Espeon non hollow is actually a really nice card as well. Going in for Cruz G. Thank you so much for participating. We're moving on to the next person up in this Aquapolis booster box opening. Can we just take a look at this? I mean, guys, Aquapolis 2003. Like, this is crazy. We're doing this in the year 2020. Moving on to the next person. We got Dallas R back at it as well with the Tyranitar pack artwork. And guys, don't forget, if you stand on the very end of this live opening, till the very end, you will... Mr. Mime number three. He's watching us. I don't know what it is, Mime. I don't know what you got after us, but I see you. Anyway, if you stay to the very end, I will announce what the next Booster Box opening is going to be for next Tuesday. And I can tell you guys, how do I say this without spoiling anything? It's going to be huge. That's all I could say. Healing Berry. Power Plant. The Mime. Constantly taunting us. Constantly watching our every move. Alien, do something about that. We got a Mareep. We got a Chensi. Magnemite. Can we get our first crystal hit of the night? Chansey again in reverse. That's actually a pretty sick card for a Chansey. And a Prime Ape. Nice. So, no hollow out of that one. No crystal out of that one. We got a nice reverse, Chansey. Again, guys, the reverses are absolutely 100% worth grading. The whole, everything in the pack is worth grading. Like 100% everything. So, Chansey going in for Dallas R. And guys, really quickly here, just want to take a quick peek here. We got it. CDA Spy in the house. Hey, man, love your videos. Keep doing you. Big fan. Thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate the super chat and just watching in general. Um, and Psyduck Legs, of course, is in the house. Setting on my luck. Hoping someone can get a crystal in this epic opening. Heart of the cards. Oh, we got the Yu-Gi-Oh reference in the house. All right, so... That is going in for Dallas R. Let's go, guys. Next up, we have... It is going to be Daniel O. Also with one pack. The one packers. It's the Arcanine. Arcanine, Arcanine, Arcanine. I call it both. What do you guys... Sometimes I say Arcanine. Sometimes I say Arcanine. Whatever I'm feeling that day. Today I'm feeling... Arcanine. Ooh, I don't think I've ever seen this card. Weakness Guard with a Charmander inside of like a bubble? That's really cool. I've never seen that card before. Hopip! That's how big this set is. There's so many cards in this set, I'm literally just seeing them for the first time. Vulpix, a Grimer. So I think if we get a hollow hit, it would be the next card. Execute. The Mime is back. What do you want from us? Alien, please help us here. The Darkness Energy is the reverse. And the Rainbow Energy. Okay, so we got Darkness Energy Trainer card as the reverse. Of course, there's a Mr. Mime here. That's Mr. Mime number four. Um, just watching our every move. And that's going into a card saver. But guys, we could still get the Crystal Lugia. We could get the Crystal Kingdra. The Nido King. Guys, I should go over the list a little bit. Ampharos in Hollow. Umbreon's in here. Houndoom, Tyranitar, Espeon, Suicune. Guys, there are some big cards in here. And I am really, really ready to start pulling those out of here. Because so far, we only got three hits. Should be plenty to go. Let's keep it moving, though. Next up, we have Christopher B. Welcome, welcome, Christopher B. Let's see. We're going to get you one pack out of here to rock and roll. Tyranitar it is. All right. Mime Climb, Justin. <laughs> the Mime Climb taunting us. Four Mimes. Watch this. There's just going to be a Mr. Mime staring at us. You got a Skip Loom to start it off. Lightning Cube 1. We got a Hopip. A Vulpix. Grimer. We got an Execute. 
Bruh. The mime is out to get us. I think this is like number five. Super energy removal two. And finishing it off with a jump off non hollow rare. The trainer cards are coming for us right now. I don't know why. Super energy removal two. Does anybody know offhand how many energy cards are in this set? What's going on, Adam? I'm doing well hanging out with you guys in the Poke Cave. Thank you for being here. All right. That's going in for Christopher B. Let's get it right now, guys. Let's get it. There's a lot of people joining up here. Almost 1,700 people are live here in the Poke Cave watching this Aquapolis booster box go down. So I'll just let you guys know if you just are joining up right now. This booster box of Pokemon cards is from the year 2003. They're some of the rarest cards in this set. Not to mention this set itself is one of the rarest out there. You really never see it. And we're opening up here right now. Right here in the Poke Cave. Sometimes I can't talk here either, so we got that going for us. All right. Now now we're switching things up because we got Caesar D up next with two packs. All right. We got Ente and we got Tyranitar. So, guys, let me know right now in the chat how many hollows are we th thinking that are going to come out of here? Are we going to get zero, one, or two? I'm going to go with two again. I think we're really overdue for two hollow kits back to back. Whew, this could be huge, guys. We could get a Crystal Lugia, and then we could hit a, a crazy reverse. Then we could have another pack come in with another hollow and another reverse. Like, this could be big right now. For Caesar D, I'm calling it our first Crystal is going to be in one of these two packs. That's my call right now. Christopher B! <laughs> um, Let's go. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, that was Christopher B. This is Caesar. I can't... I'm like reading... I saw his name pop up and then... Okay, Caesar D. Caesar D. The last one was Christopher. Let's go. Caesar D. Let's get it. All right. Everybody put their guesses in. We got a lot of ones, twos. Some people saying zero. Um, I see somebody... Is somebody's name Mime Climb right now in the chat? <laughs> we got a Warp Energy. Pupitar. The Apom. Come on, Caesar. I feel, I just feel it coming. I feel like we're due. I feel like we're due. We got a Growlithe. Shinsho. Boost energy. The trainers are haunting us. And an Ensei non holo That's actually a really, really good hit for a non holo And it came out of the Ensei pack artwork. That's really solid for a non holo rare. So... We have the boost energy out of that pack in reverse. And then we have one more pack to go. It's the Tyranitar. There could be a crystal in here. You never know. I'm still gonna I'm still saying it. Oh no. What do you want from us? What do you want from us, Mr. Mime? That's gotta be like mime number seven. Alright. I just have a good feeling about this pack. Fighting Cube 1. Growlithe. We we need... <laughs> this dude just tripped me up again. We need Alien. We need the Zoss. We need Arceus Almighty. We need everything. I love this Psyduck. The Eevee. Oddish. Everybody's so happy in this set. That's why I love it. Everyone's just having a good time hanging out. Pamphy. This one's also... This dude just chilling. Just chilling. Drowsy Reverse. And an Elekid. Non hollow. So we didn't get a hollow out of that either. But of course, we get the guaranteed reverses. We get the non hollow rares. Um, and then all of the other non hollows in this set. But we're still waiting, guys. I hope everybody's patient right now because I'm ready to get some big hits out of here. All right. We had three hollow hits so far. We're almost halfway through the box. But again, guys, I just want to reiterate. If you are still here and you're hanging out here for this opening, it's about to go down. It's about to get really crazy in here. We should still have at least nine more big hits coming out of here. It's usually one in three. So we got Scizor up next. And we're going to have two packs up. It's Scizor and Arcanine. And this is for Ben W. So Ben, the odds are with you right now. The odds are with you. I would say at this point, we're probably almost at that one in two pack odds. Maybe like one in two and a half or so. I was afraid there was going to be a Mr. Mime waiting for us. I feel like the Mime sometimes is not a good sign. I'm not going to lie. It's not like our Bidoof. 
or our Arceus. Get Bidoof over to your house. Oh, actually. Hold that thought. 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 Hold on. Guys. Guys, guys, guys. Guys, I have something. I have some good luck. Aiden. Aiden, if you're watching. Aiden, I just opened this up yesterday. Aiden sent us the squad and the psychic all-seeing eye. Aiden sent us the Bidoof, the Buffalant, and the reverse Buffalant. Guys, I don't know. I I'm just going to put these over here. I just, we need these right now. I'm going to put them here to the side. They're here. They're to the side, okay? I think that might change the game up. I think that might, Aiden might just save the day on this one. And thank you, Aiden, for that care package of Bidoofs and Buffalants. Bidoof! You're here. Come on. Let's see if Bidoof can change the game. Bidoof always changes up the game for us. Come on. Growlithe. Chincho. Togetic reverse. Not bad. I believe that's a rare. It is. It's a rare reverse. And a slow bro. That is an amazing artwork with a magic harp in the background. Holy cow. That's awesome. All right, Bidoof. Come on. All right. Togetic. Crystal's coming in the hollow slot. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you for letting me know that. All right. Togetic reverse out of the first pack for Ben W. Come on, Ben. Let's do it. Let's do it. We got the Arcanine pack coming up next. Apom. Two from the back. All right. Can we get our first crystal? Time Shard. We got an Apom. The Pincer, Smeargle. Remoraid. Oh, 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 there it is, baby. Houndoom coming in as hollow hit number four. This is exactly what we've been waiting for. One of the most beautiful artworks in this set. I'm just looking at it right now on the side screen I have over here. In case you guys are ever wondering why I'm looking over here, like, what is he looking at? I'm not looking at you, but I'm looking at you over here. Houndoom is coming in as our fourth hit. Mmm. I absolutely love this artwork, guys. Oh, wow. Houndoom on top of like a mini mountain just looking down with like the burnt trees in the background or whatever. They don't have leaves on them. Oh, man. I almost forgot There's there could be something else behind here. We're changing up this opening right now. Hitmonsop. That's, oh, that's, a co that's actually a common card, but that's a really nice hit for a reverse. And a Needle King non hollow. That was a really nice pack. That Houndoom. Whew. Wow. All right. Got to sleeve it up very quickly here. Hit on top. Very carefully. Houndoom. Oh, I love this card. We're going to take a quick peek at this. I'm going to tell you guys what this thing is worth as well in a PSA 10. And again, guys, the Aquapolis, the E series in general, cards come out just perfect. They really dialed in everything with these. Wow. That is. Beautiful. Oh, this might be one of my favorite cards in this set. And for those of you that are curious, a Houndoom in a PSA 10 is going to be worth... I cannot find because there's so many cards in this set. Where are you? Houndoom. Houndoom, 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 Houndoom. Where are you? Houndoom. $1,200 plus was the last sale. Now, don't forget, guys, a lot of these are so hard to find that some of the sales are super outdated. Um as well. So, Houndoom, the, I believe the last sale was 1200 plus, courtesy of TC Revival for grabbing the prices on these, but that pack was fire. Oh my goodness, look at this card. I don't want to put this card away. I love it so much. All right. Let's go. Badoof, changing the game up right now for us. Cards are going in for Ben W. Ben got an awesome hit. A bunch of really nice reverses, non-hollows, everything like that. You get all the cards in here, the empty pack wrappers, everything. Bidoof is making waves, says Luke. The Bidoof. The Doof. Low-key, I want to get a shirt that just says the Doof. And just put it on, and then every day have, like, the luck. All right. Ryan M is up next. If you're ready for this, Ryan, we are actually going to grab the final pack on the left side and then, the first pack on the right. Guys, really quickly, 
Give me a hashtag start to mid if you've been here from the very beginning of this stream until right this very second, halfway through. We're ready to do this. Aiden is here. Yo, Aiden that gave us the Bidoofs and the Boofalots says, hopefully the rest of the opening is blessed and my Bidoof brings the luck, Rev. Yes, Aiden. I think your Bidoof is going to bring us the, the luck right now. That's what we needed. A hero. <laughs> a hero has emerged. Aiden, the Bidoof trainer. All right. We got Whoop Whoops. Is Whooper Whoops in the house or what? Can we get a whoop whoop in the chat? All right. Smoochum, we haven't seen you yet. Happy, happy as can be. Whoop whoop. We got a spinner rack. Ponyta. The horsey and like the super mad shelter. Shelter. Oh, I didn't see that just totally tripped me up. We got an executor. Let's go. This thing sparkles like crazy. Like, if you look at the, the hollow pattern on these, it's nuts. It reminds me of the base two card hollow patterns, but like even more shiny. That's wild. Okay. And there could be something behind this. Ooh, I will take that. A hound or reverse. That is solid. And finish it off with a quagsire half in the water. In the city. In the city. Anthony. Hashtag team right. Big hits and definitely a crystal. Oh, we're doing that again. The left and right. Still going with hashtag team right. I'll take it. Hashtag team right for life. All right. So, executor going in to the slot. Oh, man. This is awesome. Really, really nice quality cards out of here, guys. And that was only the pack. The first pack. <laughs> You guys say the funny stuff in the chat. <laughs> All right, so Executor. <laughs> What's going on, Dean? Thank you so much for being here. KK is in the house. Chase is in the house. Okay. Tyler says, I'm so confused by the card order. So if there's a hollow, it's going to be, it switches it. It's the hollow, then the reverse, then a non-hollow rare. It's very, it's very weird. But if there's not a hollow, then, yeah, it's just weird. But anyway... That was the first pack on the left. Now, can the right side follow that up? The Scyther side, or the Scizor, I should say. Oh, I thought there was going to be a mime peeking out. Mimes are just, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about mimes, uh, to be honest with you guys. Ryan, what's going on? Let's go, Rev. Thank you so much. I appreciate the super chat and the support and just being here, just hanging out with us. Hopefully, everybody's having a good time. The Bellsprout Army has emerged. Lootbox TV, I'm looking at you. Fighting Cube. Let's see if this one's going to be a little courtesy of Lootbox TV luck here. Magnemite. Ooh, Execute. Drowsy, sleeping in a tree. Mmm, yo, we got the double whammy. Muck coming out of the second pack for Ryan M. Woo, that is crazy. Ryan M, you have some crazy luck. And it's M like Mary, by the way, because I see another Ryan after you, Ryan N. But this is Ryan M. Wait, Ryan M. Oh, hold on, guys. I can't think straight here. I'm losing my mind. Ryan M from California, okay? M. I'm not going to say your full last name, but MCL, okay? Just want to make that clear. Oh, yo, let's go. The scissor reverse. Wow. That is probably one of the best reverses that you can get out of here. And the Togetic non hollow. Ryan M. C. L. I don't want to say your full name. That was your two packs. Scissor reverse. And the muck. That is wild. That is wild. Double pack. Triple, I don't know how many, triple, double, whatever you want to say. Because the reverses are crazy. The hollows are crazy. That's wild. And the Executor, we couldn't find a price on. Um, the Muck, about 400 bucks in a PSA 10. This one, no idea. They're just so hard to find. But check out all these hits. Like, that is what I'm talking about. 
We're bringing it back with the Bidoof Luck. Let's go. Check that out. Like, what? Out of two packs? That is wild. So we still haven't seen our first crystal yet, though. Not quite yet. But I think we'll do it. I don't see why not. I don't see why not. So Ryan M. Let's go. Oh, Loot Box TV is in the house. Thank you so much for being here. The Bell Sprout Army brought the luck on that one. Okay, now Ryan N is up. See, guys, that's why I was like, got to make it very clear. But Ryan N is up next with two packs. Two. All right. We still are, we still got like a, like a tiny bit less than half of this box left to go. It's getting wild in here. Let's go. Oh, oh, now it is this Ryan's turn with the alien emojis. Ryan N in the house. Let's go, other Ryan, says uh, Young Wolfie. All right, now it's your time to shine. Can the Ryans somehow both get the crazy luck? Let's make it happen. Thank you so much, Scotty. I appreciate you being here. Darkness Cube, the Marowak. Hopefully, you guys, I, I really hope that you guys are having a good time hanging out here. And this is always the place to come and, and be yourself. Hang out, no worries at all, because everybody's always welcome here in the Poke Cave. Of course, we got our mods in the house. Trainer Trey, we have uh, TCG Revival, Blastoise 93. We got a Porygon. Ooh, that's pretty trippy. What does that say? Play? It's a bunch of, like, random electronics. That's a slot machine back there. Interesting. Houndor. Whoop, whoop. Come on, alien. A Maggie Reverse. Out of pack number one. And a Parasect. All right, so first pack was a reverse. And all it takes is one pack here, Ryan, because you have one more. Darkman's throwing in the alien emojis for the luck. That's what we need. Alien, come on, dude. Alien, let's go, buddy. Come on. Focus. Laser focused or whatever you use to get the luck here. All right. The next pack is going to be the Entei. And the Bell Sprouts have appeared. All right. Come on, Ryan. Second pack magic. Let's make it happen right now. Whoa, we have almost 2,000 people here live in the Poke Cave. That is actually wild. Wow. I think the last time we've had that many people was the first edition base set booster box opening. So thank you guys so much for being here. It just means that you guys are enjoying this and sharing out the video and everything like that, liking the video and all that stuff. The support really helps. It helps get the video out there to other people. Uh, so I really appreciate that. We got a Scyther. The Scyther, like, we got we got the Scyther. Shout out Trainer Trey. Like, I mean, check this out. The, the different Scyther artworks. But come on. We want the crystal. The Kangaskhan, thinking about Bidoof. Voltsorb, come on. Ooh, we got the Lantern Reverse out of this pack. And the Exeggutor, the psychic version of Exeggutor, coming in for Ryan N. It's a pretty cute Lantern hanging out in the ocean. All right, so quick recap here of the reverse hits for Ryan I like to put all these reverses in card savers because these are definitely worth grading 100%. As I always say, all of the cards, especially Wizards of the Coast era, especially E-Series era, is wild. And guys, don't forget to stay till the very end of this opening because I'm going to announce next week's, next Tuesday's opening, it's going to be wild, guys. It is going to be wild. All right, let's move on to the next person we have up in this opening. It's going to be Jeff S. We're going back with the one-pack Magickers. Let's get it with the Entei artwork. D is in the house. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right. Two from the back. We get the Grass Cube one. Oh, no. We have our like one of the first sad Pokemon. What's going on, Whooper? You're not whooping anymore? Where's your buddy? Hitmontop. We got a Porygon. Houndor. Spinarak. Come on. Oh, we got a hollow hit electrode. I think this might be hollow number six, I'm going to say. 
And behind here. Ooh, and a Mareep. So we got a Pokemon. I always like getting the Pokemon um, reverses. And an Octillery non-hollow rare. So let's throw these into a sleeve. That's what I call one-pack magic, guys. I'm going to check the price on that Electrode as well. Not to mention that concerned look on Electrode's face. What is going on, buddy? This pack had some concerned Pokemon in here. Electrode. Nice. A clean card. A beautiful card. That is going into a card saver. <laughs> One and then the Mareep. And again, guys, if you're just joining up here, this booster box is from the year 2003. It's like 17 years ago that this set was released. I believe it was January of 2003. The Electrode Hollow and the Mareep. That is what I call One Pack Magic. And the Electrode. Going for about $300 or so in a PSA 10. Octillery. There you are, my friend. And that is going in for Jeff S. One Pack Magic. All right, guys. I got a hashtag rehydrate in here. All right. We got to focus our inner chi, alien. Breathe in. and I, I, If you breathe, I guess... I don't know if you breathe air. I don't know what you do. Never mind. Okay. So, next up is going to be Eric C is back at it. Eric C, you have one pack and one pack only. If you guys are curious, we still got a bunch of packs left. Probably about, I don't know, maybe like 12 to 14 or so. So, looking good. We still got a bunch left to go. Hopefully, you guys are having a good time. We're so close to 2,000 live viewers. <laughs> All right. Right now. Let's see who can call what the next hollow is going to be. Guys, take your guess. Let me know what you think the next hollow card is going to be. You can guess a crystal, a hollow. There's 32 different hollows. There's three different crystals. The three crystals are Lugia, Needle King, and Kingdra. And there's like just so many hollows in this set. It's crazy. It's wild. All right, come on, guys. We got the Mareep. We got the Chensi. This one, again, is for Eric C. So best of luck to you, my friend. A drowsy sleeping in a tree. The Slowpoke sleeping... On the ground. Flappy reverse out of this back. And a Tentacruel. Non-hollow rare. Alright, so we're going to throw this one into a penny sleeve. And the card saver. For the extra protection. Like so. That's actually a pretty interesting Flappy. I don't know if you're about to like break dance or something. It looks like the Flappy's like a split second away from just... Busting some moves. All right, everybody's putting their guesses in. A lot of people saying Lugia's coming up next. <laughs> Jer uh, Jeremiah, what's going on? Went from Whooper to Weeping. <laughs> I don't know what happened to that Whooper, guys. I mean, like, Whooper whoop is always happy. We're always whooping, and, and it's just it's weeping, like you said. I mean, that's sad. I'm sorry, Whooper. Gemmit Pokemon in the house. What is going on, dude? Pull the Crystal Lugia. Just for you. Just for you, Gemmit. I think we could do that. I think we could do that. All right, so maybe Jim will bring the luck right now with that call. Robert C, you are up next. Robert has one pack. We got to get our crystal. So we have a very good chance of pulling that Lugia because the crystals, there's only three. There's only three different crystals in here. So if we pull a crystal, we got a one in three shot of it being Lugia. Fighting Cube. Ooh, the Forest Guardian. Dude, that beard, I need that when I'm like 80. That is wild. And they look so serious. They're like staring into my soul. That Noctail is like, I feel like that would be an incredible stare off. The Noctail versus Alien. Just like staring back at each other. Horsey, the Lick of Tongue, Jincho Water type. Reverse Onyx. That's that really beautiful artwork that I really do enjoy. It's like a sunset or a sunrise. Staring out there. All these dudes are like thinking. They're like really like contemplating. And just, just, and then this dude just eating souls. Hypno. Can't trust you, buddy. But I do love the artwork. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we still have a ton more to go. We should still have a bunch of hollows left in this opening 
I'm going to say we probably, oh, there we go. See, Trainer Trey reads my mind here. Um, <laughs> we got seven hollows so far. We still got like five more to go. And we are definitely more than halfway through this opening. So these next packs, I'm prepared for some craziness coming out of these. I'm prepared, guys. I would say I'm going to take a guess and say almost half of these are going to have either hollows or crystals in them. All right, guys, so get ready. Sit back, relax. Oh, we're over 2,000 live viewers. Thank you guys so much. That is so cool to see. 2005. 2011. Yo, that, I just... Words cannot describe how it feels to have all of you watching this right now. It just means so much to me. It means a lot to all of you, everybody else here that's hanging out um, and able to just enjoy what we love together. But I'm going to cut my speech short, short because I know you guys want to watch these cards get opened. So next up, we have Sammy M going in with one pack and one pack only. It is the Scizor. And I can see Scizor's brother or sister in there up next as well. So, oh, oh, oh. Ando is in the house. Unlisted Leaf. Oh, snap. We have... We're opening Aquapolis. Ooh. Ando. I know I always say this, but I just feel like whenever you join up, the luck comes. So, Ando, this pack is for... Uh, shout out to you. And maybe this will be the one. We got a Meryl. And if you guys didn't see, Ando just got like a ridiculous $10,000 plus mystery box from TCA Gaming. Um, that was wild to watch, so. And he's going to be opening every single pack of Pokemon cards that's ever been released, which is another thing that's just crazy. He's doing crazy things over there. Um, but of course, you guys already know Ando. Town Volunteers, so this artwork is really nice. We got the Whooper is happy again. Whooping. Squirtle's there. Hoot Hoot. And um, Bulbasaur. That is a really cool. I love the... Like, trainer cards definitely are not my favorite, but when they put, like, a bunch of really cool Pokemon in them, I love them. We got an Execute. We got the Voltorb. Come on. Let's go. Do Duo. Oh, we got the Tyranitar. Let's go. Yo, that is wild. <sighs> Tyranitar. Oh, my goodness. Guys, this is one of the biggest hollow hits you can get out of here. That is up there with the Houndoom for me. Like, officially, oh, I can't get over the artworks on these. Like, I know I keep saying it, but this Tyranitar, I got to put it in a sleeve. And I got to see what's after this. Porygon 2, I will take that. Is that a rare? It is a rare. So, Porygon 2 rare. Got to gently put that down. I'm going to take the Porygon 2. And we got a Muck in the back there. Okay. So, I'm going to throw these in a sleeve. We're going to take a close-up look at this Tyranitar. Going into the penny sleeve. Tyranitar also going into the penny sleeve. If I can grab it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, Rhyme Style has this in PSA 10. I just need to take a second here to just breathe. Like, Let me rehydrate here for a second, guys. This is wild. A lot of people are saying that that artwork is solid. Jurassic Tar says Gem Mint. It does look like a... Jurassic Park type. Oh, let me let's look at it first. We gotta we gotta enjoy this artwork. A pack fresh Tyranitar from Aquapolis being pulled out in the year 2020. Whew. A tiny tiny little nick up on there on the side there, but let's check the hollow out. Whew. Man, they did these cards right. That is wild. Tyranitar, guys. Let's see if we have a price on this one. It, it's oh it's a minimum of a thousand dollars in a PSA 10. It's hard to put a price on a lot of these again because Number one, we don't really see them very often. And number two, the pop reports on these are always, are, are really low. I mean, when you put that together, it's like really hard to get pricing. But Tyranitar, one of the most popular Pokemon out there for sure. So we got a Porygon 2 going in as well. That That is what I call a pack, ladies and gentlemen. Tyranitar and Porygon 2. Aquapolis going in. For Sammy. So congratulations, Sammy, on that wild hit. The right side. The right side, guys. All right. Oh, Patrick says it's crumpled up in my childhood binder, but I still got it. Hey, if you got it, you got it, you know? All right. Next up, we have David S. With one pack. All right, David. The Scizor pack. 
See what we can get next out of here. We still haven't hit. <clears throat> but Justin's, Justin's summoning the crystal. Um, the crystal Lugia. All right. One, two. All right. Juggler! Pokemon Fan Club. Lickitung. Togepi. Horsey. And guys, the thing with the Aquapolis and the E-Series sets in general, like, the conditions on these cards out of the packs are phenomenal. It is, it is known in the Pokemon world, in the world of collectors, that the E-Series has the best, best um, condition cards out of packs from the Wizards of the Coast era. Bellsprout. Oh, yo, see, this is what I'm talking about. We were lacking so hard in the beginning, but now the fire is here. Tyranitar. And then we pull the Suicune. Another one of the biggest hits you could get out of here. And we got a reverse coming up next. This will be like the cherry on top. Let's see. Oh, I will take that Cubone all day. Cubone reverse and a Steelix. Another artwork for Steelix in this set. Non hollow. I knew the right the that bottom half of this right side was gonna be where the fire was waiting. We got the Suicune. Oh man. Look at that Suicune. That is what I just the artworks in this set are just they just really hit it on point. All the way back from the year 2003, Aquapolis. Wow. And I mean, if you check out the back on these, they are like flawless. I mean, look at those corners. Look at the edges. Nothing. Oh, wow. Most of these, for sure, have a shot at a PSA 10. A lot of people are eyeing up that Cubone. <laughs> TCG Revival and Trader Trader like... I want that Cubone. Because <laughs> that, I mean, that is really sick. There are a lot of Cubone collectors out there. And this one in particular, like, the one thing with Cubone is a lot of times Cubone is always sad, right? But this one, Cubone is like juggling some bones and having fun. And really quickly, guys, the price on the Suicune is worth at least seven to $800 in a PSA 10. Again, these are just going by past uh, prices and things like that that they have been sold for and we can't really get you know exact exact prices on a lot of these because they're really hard to find Suicune and Cubone again that's another pack where it's like it's just wild it's just wild to see these cards all these years later being pulled out of here going in for David S Cody is summoning a crystal Pokemon as we speak right now with the crystal balls that's what we need all right Switch it up, guys. Right now, throw in the crystal balls and the crystals in the chat. And I think that might do it. That might just do it. Ooh, Rakesy as well throwing in some good luck. That's what we need, guys. The crystal balls and the crystals. Get it in there right now. All right. So, next up, we are going to have Devin F. with one pack and one pack only. The one pack magic. Will it continue? We got him two in a row. Let's see if we can get a third one in a row. <laughs> Slow down, Rev. This must must be relish, says James. Okay. You're right. You are very right. This is a moment that we have to enjoy. But the good news is we are doing this live. And we get to experience this all together at the exact same time. Oh, there it is. Everybody is throwing in the good luck crystals. Oh, even the rings. The rings from Dominic. Yes. Yes, that's what we need. And the Bidoofs. Oh, I love it. You guys are blowing it up. All right. All right. Let's get our first crystal hit. Come on. This is for Devin F. Come on. We got the Bell Sprouts. We got Togepi skipping down the lane. We got the Scyther. Reverse Meryl. That is another, like, super cute Meryl. And in Ninetales, non-hollow. We actually hit that one in hollow and non-hollow before as well. So we got a reverse card out of here. That is a really nice looking Meryl, though. The artwork's really cool. I love it. All right. So, going into a card saver for Devin. There we go. The Meryl. Out of the Tyranitar pack. Going in. 
All right. There we go. And we're going to move on to the next person up in this opening. It's going to be Sean R. So, Sean R., you are up next. Are you ready? Are you ready right now? Let me know if you're here in the chat. If you're ready to make this happen, let's make it happen right now. For Sean R. All right. We got the scissor. Hizoka is in the house. What's going on, my friend? It's possible to pull three crystals in one box. I pulled it on my channel years ago. Good luck with the last pack magic. Thank you so much for hanging out here, Zoka. And congrats on that. Oh, no. Do you guys see this? That is literally the creepiest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. That has to be the creepiest thing I've ever seen. He's literally just like, bro, I want to tell you something. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. I still don't know how I feel about, about him. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about him. Let me let me know, guys. How do you how do you feel about Mr. Mime? Okay. Pokey collections worldwide. Gotta show some love for this epic opening. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Truly appreciate you being here. And Anthony Liss is in the house. I told you, Team Right Brother, just need that epic crystal pool now. <laughs> All right. I appreciate it. Everybody's freaking out about the mime. I know. I don't know what that was about. I don't know how to feel about that. Oh, scared me. It actually scared me for a second. Okay. I don't know. See, the thing is, I don't know. Like, if he's, what is he going to bring us some luck? Like, what, what's happening with the mime? We're going to find out right now. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. We got a reverse. So that means that's actually cool. It shows the whole evolution um, line down there. And the magnet sign. Okay, so we got a reverse out of that pack. No hollow or crystal. <laughs> you guys are putting in your opinions for, for Mr. Mime. <laughs> oh, you guys are hilarious. You guys are hilarious. <laughs> the Mime. Alien. I feel like Alien and Mime are like arch nemesis or something. An alien will tell me. All right, all right, all right, guys. So I'm gonna do a quick, a quick little count here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got eight, eight more Aquapolis packs. I gotta rehydrate really quickly here. <laughs> okay, Chase, I see you. All right, all right. So we have up next. It's going to be Alejandro and I know you are here I saw you here in the chat Alejandro um, C I believe is the first letter of your last name I or C um, Alejandro you're up next it is the Arcanine oh FLW videos Mr. Mime is the Pokemon equivalent to Pennywise <sighs> gonna keep me up at night now that really adorable Cubone. Is that the happiest Cubone you guys have ever seen? Come on. It is about time for a crystal. Alejandro. Let's see if we can make it happen. And the Onyx. Let's see how many Pokemon are happy here. Cubone. Onyx looks pretty happy. Gralic is just chilling. I don't know. You don't have a, really have a face. But you're probably happy. Oh, yo, we are definitely happy now. We got the Arcanine. What is, like, what? Arcanine out of the Arcanine pack and followed up before with the Growlithe. Another phenomenal artwork. The card, like, the Pokemon literally is, like, popping out. I don't know how they did that. I guess they outlined it or something, but it's, like, oh, it just pops so nicely, guys. And Reverse will be our cherry on top here. Ooh, Tentacruel. And we did have the Tentacle as well. So we're getting some evolution lines in here. That is solid. I think that might be a rare. It is. It's a rare. Let's go. And the Tyranitar non hollow This pack is loaded. Even though it's a non hollow it's still a really good hit. Like a really good one. Oh. Tentacle going in. Arcanine going in. Wow. That is awesome. Arcanine hollow hits. 
out of one pack for Alejandro, and I know you are here. Jemit says that is a top two Arcanine cards. It's a beautiful artwork for sure. Wow. These artworks, like, I'm, I'm trying to take my time as best as I can here and just, like, just enjoy these guys. Look, I mean, fresh out of a pack, as clean as they get. This is what it is all about, guys. Hanging out, opening Pokemon packs together. This awesome community. I love this. Tentacruel, Arcanine, and, of course, I got to throw in the Tyranitar, not hollow, and that's out of one pack. For Alejandro. <laughs> oh, I love it. And out of the Arcanine pack. Going in, my friend. Congratulations on that. The right side of this box is really loaded. All right, guys. We still got a bunch left to go. I'm going to say maybe like six or so. We got two. We got four. We got six. We got seven. Seven to go. All right, so next we have Jamie S. with one pack. It's going to be the Scizor pack artwork. I mean, just... This is such an awesome set. Let's make it happen. Let's go, Jamie S. Let's see what we can get you out of here. I'm always, I'm always waiting for that Mr. Mime to be lurking in there, waiting for the moment to pop its head out. Chase SummerSlam Alien versus Mr. Mime <laughs> on pay per view. <laughs> That's awesome. Smooch him. Seer. Got a Tangela. Tentacool is back with us. And Horsey, the water Pokemon. Lincoln Sun. Guys, don't forget we still have not hit our first crystal yet. Jincho. Reverse Pinsir, that's actually a really nice um, reverse hit. And a Bell Awesome. All right, so we got the Pinsir Reverse out of the one pack for Jamie S. We're still waiting for that crystal. So I don't know. I thought it was... I thought a crystal was guaranteed. But now I'm not so sure because we haven't hit one yet. But that doesn't mean that we're not going to hit one. Oh, no, no, no. That does not mean we are not going to hit one. It just might take a little bit longer. All right. Jamie, yes. Thank you so much. But next up, we have Jan J. Um, I think I said your name right. It's J-A-N-E-A-N-E. -E -E. Um, last initial J. Jane Ann, I think. I'm sorry. I should have uh, I should have checked that out earlier, but you have two packs. We have, boom, Tyranitar and Entei. That's a solid lineup. Like those are some really awesome Pokemon. Okay, oh, it's not guaranteed. Okay, did not know that. Thanks for clarifying that. All right, so come on. Oh, we got the Whooper, the Happy Whoopers, not the Weeping Whoopers, the Happy one. Two from the back. Let's go. We got to believe, says Dominic. We got to believe the Bellsprout army is here. Four of them. And the whoop or whoop whoops. We got a Ponyta. A horsey. Drowsy sleeping in a tree. Oh, yo, are you serious? We just doubled up on one of the best cards in here. The Ente. Oh, no, we didn't get an Ente yet. Entei out of here. I was getting confused with the uh, the Arcanine. Entei out of here. A hollow hit. Oh my goodness. The legendary beast. One of the three legendary beasts. We got Entei. And guys, the hollows have the H in the front of there. So that is H8. There's 32. It goes up to H32. And of course, we can get the cherry on top. Come on. Come on. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? A Weeping Bell. <laughs> it's a funny looking Weeping Bell. But we got a Weeping Bell hit reverse. It's a Pokemon. And Apricorn Forest. That is a rare as well. Interesting. It's pretty cool. So, Weeping Bell going in. Ensei going in. And it's out of the Ensei pack artwork. Let's go. And the Swirl. So, Arcanine came out of the Arcanine pack. Ensei coming out of the Ensei pack. 
Wow. The beautiful swirl on the bottom there. These, like, Wizards of the Coast dialed it in. They just dialed it in, and they were like, they're on their last run. And this was one of the last sets that they ever did. Such a shame to wonder what else they would have had in store for us if the last set wasn't Skyridge. Some speculate that there was another set after Skyridge in the works, and cards may exist. I think the code name was Jamboree. I believe Gem Mint Pokemon told me about that one. Entei and Weepin' Bell. So guys, there is still another pack here. It's the Tyranitar pack artwork. Can we get double pack magic? Let's see. Two from the back. Whew. All right. Oh no! The sad weeping whooper. Remoraid. Cubone. Onyx. Growlithe. Sensicool. Ooh! That's gotta be one. That's probably the best reverse that we hit tonight. Either that or the Scizor. Arcanine. We got this one in a hollow. And now we also got this one as a reverse. I will take that all day. And a Blissey. I don't think I've ever seen this artwork either. That's crazy. That's That Blissey must be like six feet tall. Or it's like just a really weird perspective. <laughs> either way, that's a really nice reverse to get. Arcanine reverse. I'm going to show you guys a quick recap here. A quick recap... So, that's a solid lineup. The Entei and the Arcanine was reverse, and then the Weeping Bell reverse as well. So, these are going in like so. We're going to throw the Blissey in here. Wow, we got 2,200 almost live viewers. Thank you guys so much for hanging out here. If you are new here and you're not subscribed yet, make sure you smash, um, or you don't have to smash it. I mean, just slightly tap the subscribe button. Turn on notifications. Right, because that way you will be notified when we go live here. Because we go live here a lot, and you definitely don't want to miss that. I don't know why these don't want to go in here. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Subscribe. Turn on those notifications. That way you won't be wondering when the next live is. It'll just give you a notification. You can hop in and hang out for the live. It's always the best to watch these live. But all right. Next up, we have Nick P. Going in with one pack. So best of luck. To Nick P. Guys, this is the final four. The final four. Come on. Let's make this happen. Final four. Entei, you are up next. Okay, we're not seeing any Mr. Mimes creeping out. Come on, guys. Throw in the luck. Get the sauce in, in the chat. Let's get a little spicy in here because... We're trying to see if we could get a crystal out of here. Now, it's not guaranteed. So that's the thing, right? We don't know if we're going to get one, but we're hoping. And if we do get one, well, we'll take any. But, of course, the Lugia would be crazy. Oh, yo, let's go. This is actually one of the most difficult cards to get from this set. Ampharos, and might I add, quite possibly the coolest looking Ampharos artwork that I have ever seen. Wow. I just, I keep saying it, but I really mean it with these artworks in this E-Series, in Aquapolis, in general. Insane. Ampharos. We're going to follow it up with the cherry on top. Ooh, A-Bomb. Stealing some, something out of a tree there. That's awesome. And the Magneton. All right, we got to throw these in a sleeve really quickly here. So, guys... There's only 19 of those Ampharos that exist. Ampharos is always hard to get. I don't know what the deal is. There's only 19 of these in a PSA 10. I have no idea what the price would go for this. Thousands of dollars in a PSA 10 for sure. Now, I'm curious if this is difficult to grade, though. That's the thing. Let's see. So this the back is off-center, but it's definitely within the allowance. The backs, they allow them to be like very off. Let's see the front. Let's check this hollow out. Man, that is a beautiful artwork. 
I don't think I see anything. You guys can tell me. It's kind of hard to see sometimes with the different light reflections in here. But I don't think I see anything. I think this would definitely have a shot at a PSA 10. So potentially the biggest like value-wise card out of here if, uh, if this were to get a 10. Which I think it has a really good shot. Boom. Ampharos. Oh, the artworks in these are awesome. One pack magic for Nick P. And I know you're watching. I think we were chatting just today or yesterday. So whew, you got a huge hit. Ampharos. Wow. That is awesome. That is awesome. All right, guys. We're coming down to it. We've only got three left. Can we get one? Just one. We'll take one. Some people are quoting up to $4,000 in a PSA 10 for uh, that Ampharos. Uh, I see nothing but a strong opening rare packs. Oh, thank you so much, Anthony. Whew, yeah, I mean that, Nick, like, shoot, send that immediately to get graded. Immediately. Any, anything, all the stuff in this, in this set is just 100% worth grading. But all right. Tommy M back at it. You are up next with one pack with the Tyranitar pack artwork. Come on, guys. Can we just get one? Just one. We'll take one crystal. Out of here. Let's make it happen. We got a Fire Cube 1. The Weeping Bell is back. Kangaskhan. We got a Voltorb. A Porygon. Ooh. Yo. Okay. What? Like, the most adorable Pokemon artworks in this set. Like, that has to be the most adorable Nidoran I've ever seen in my life. Do Duo. Reverse Furret. Not bad. That's an uncommon. There's two in that. And it's Zapdos non holo rare. I will take that all day. Even the non hollows are really awesome to get out of here. The reverses. Like, some of the reverses, again, are worth hundreds of dollars. Like, that Arcanine. That's a huge hit in reverse. Um, so many awesome ones. You can get all you can get all the hollows in reverse as well, so you gotta think that the set is huge. So even a reverse could make the whole pack worth it, depending on which one you get. Tommy M going in. We only got two more packs, guys. Throw everything in the chat right now that you can give us. We need some. We, we just need any sort of luck you can bring. That we really want to see if we can get one crystal. Bring us the crystal ball, the crystals, something, guys, in there to to bring the luck. Um. So next up. We have a YouTuber up next, actually. And I don't know how to say your name right. I apologize. Um, Dodo Doya. Dodo do ya? Do ya? Dodo do ya. <laughs> well, do ya? That is up um, with the Tyranitar. Totally probably said your name wrong. I apologize. But let's make this happen. Let's see what we can get you out of this one single pack. Can we get our the one crystal that we need? Just the one. We'll take one crystal. Come on. Let's go. Crystal in clutch. Let's go. The Forest Guardian staring back at us again with the epic beard. We got a Voltorb, a Goldeen. Ooh, Larvitar. I don't think we got that one yet. That's how big this set is. We're probably going to keep seeing artworks I haven't seen throughout this whole opening. Pinsir, A Palm. Come on. One crystal. Oh, Smeargle. Reverse Fire Cube 1 and a Kingdra non hollow. Guys, it all comes down to one more pack. Unfortunately, no crystal in this pack. We got the Fire Cube 01 reversed out of the Tyranitar pack, but it all comes down to this one final, final pack in this opening, guys. All right, so the final person up in this opening. Is Cody M. This is going to be it. Please, Bidoof. Please, Alien. Arceus Almighty. We'll take one. One crystal. Bidoof. Please. Make it happen. This is going in for Cody M. It's the final pack. Everything, guys. I want the chat blown up. Right now for this final pack. We need every single sort of luck that we can get in here. It all comes down to this. This final pack. All right, Cody. 
Everybody else that's watching here, this is our final shot at a crystal. Starting strong with Pokemon Park, which is actually probably my favorite trainer in this set. We got a Golduck. Come on, I want to see a Lugia. Or any crystal. Kangaskhan. We got a Nidoran. We got a Paris. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Let's go, alien. We got a whoop whoop. A mill tank. Yo, okay, okay. We got a reverse Entei. That is a really nice hit for a reverse. One of the best reverses for sure, I would think, that you can get out of here. I mean, a legendary beast and finishing it off with a lantern non hollow. But, guys. Do not leave quite yet. I'm going to announce what next week's opening is going to be. And you guys are going to want to stick around for that. For your shot at grabbing packs out of that one. This is a really big one coming up, guys. And thank you to everybody that was here to watch this live. We've had a ton of people come hang out here. And I truly appreciate every single one of you. But, guys, right now, I am going to announce the next opening. Where you guys can grab at thepokecave.com. But not just yet. As soon as I show it on the screen. So, I'll, I'll give you guys the lead up for it. So I'm going to show you what the lineup is right now. And then after that, I'll, I'll save it for last. So guys, we already had this one shown. This one is going to be on Thursday. The, Jap the Japanese gym here. This one's already ready to go. Okay. I already showed you that one. Then on Sunday, we have, we have Unbroken Bonds Blister Case. This one was already showed. And I'm going to show you right now the next box. This one's huge. This one's, I, this one's really big, guys. Okay. So... If you guys saw a video that I did, it was probably a few months ago now. Um, there was something in that pickup, in that video, that was crazy. And I've been saving it for this very, very day. Now, the booster box does have the wrap off of it. We always open up booster boxes right here with the wrap off and everything. But this box, the only reason it was ever opened was to take the box topper out of that box. Like you saw in this box... We had an Espeon box topper. The person just opened it to finish their set and never touched the packs inside. Well, guys, we're going to be opening that box up right now. Not right now. <laughs> on Tuesday in the Poke Cave. And, guys, it is available right now on the PokeCave.com. A Sky Ridge booster box. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We are jumping into it for the first time ever. One of the most sought-after sets of all time. A Sky Ridge E-Series booster box. The last set ever. And Wizards of the Coast history to be made. All 36 packs are in here. And this box is going down. It's going down on Tuesday. So if you guys want to grab packs, grab at thepokecave.com. But other than that, guys, that is going to be it. Truly hope you guys had a fun time hanging out here in the Poke Cave. If you want to grab packs for Skyers, they're up right now on thepokecave.com. That is going to be it, guys. Hope you have a great day. And I will see you on the next one.